morning. It's Ralph from uh, Squirrel Hill Farm. I want to do an update today on the loop of gourds and the fig here. Picking a few figs. The ones the birds and the squirrels haven't got. You can't pick them early. And they can over ripen pretty fast. Looks like something's already been eaten on that one. Or split. We had some rain last night. I think that helped. With them. There's one that's just bad. There's another bad one. And that one right there is not quite ripe yet, but tomorrow it will be. Picking off the bad ones and just letting them fall. Been wanting to get a bunch to make some preserves with. I believe these are the Celeste Juniors. We bought this plant at the farmer's market on and on about four years ago, five years ago now. And uh, didn't get much off it the first couple years. But this year it's been pretty good. Chickens over here. So I'll uh, got one more. Not quite ready. We'll have to pick every day now for the birds and the squirrels to get them. I'm gonna walk over here to the loop, which is right here. It's really growing. It was a month ago when I made the first video. it's still flowering good which means more fruit can be made remember these are gourds they're not a they're not a squash and the pollinators love them how long do you think it'll be before these bigger ones are ready uh when you can hear the seed shaking at them and the skin start turning But I think two more weeks, the three big ones in here, this one, this one, and that one way over there, will start changing and start getting ready. The one thing I do is try to watch for them hanging, to get them hanging freely, like this would. And I try to break off any that are bad. Kind of watch for that. That way the, the, uh, Growing goes to the good fruit. The vine can concentrate right. on the on the uh, growing. And I do try to cut off dead leaves. Now amongst us is some cucumbers in here. <laughs> they got buried alive by the the vines from the We got a few but from the lupus. We didn't get many cucumbers. No. The lupus choked it out. Oh, this one? Yeah. yeah, it probably should come off. Just let it hang. It may uh, make a sponge early. These are all firm yet. At this stage, they're easy to cook. But we don't need them. We want the, the lupa out of it. We've, we had a big batch of them a couple years ago. And we used them. So yeah. we gifted, so we used. Still using them. Yeah, we still got one piece left that we're using. Got them way down low there. There might even be one on the ground. On both sides of the panel. There's three nice ones right here. This winter we're gonna reconfigure and maybe add some more. How we do our uh, trellises. We may set up a couple more panels too. I 
don't know what kind of bug that is. See it? If anybody's watching this and they know what it is, let us know. Probably some kind of stink bug. Maybe. I don't know. Pee on this one too. These mason bees just do a beautiful job on these. So we encourage it. And occasionally we see butterflies. There's a butterfly hopping out around up the top here. Oh, oh that's a hummingbird. <laughs> that's good too. We do have a few of them, and when the raccoons aren't empty of the, the waterers. Get that one off. Few this of one, the, this one's not doing anything. It's few of the blooms have fallen off, but I think it's because it was so dry last week. Yeah. And uh But we've got more than plenty. Mm-hmm. And we got a nice rain last night. Anyway, that's the lupus. I don't know if it encourages people to grow them or not. I've, I've learned along the way with them. I can process them out pretty quickly when they're ready. And then I throw the skins back in here as mulch and compost. We save all the seeds. All the good black seeds. You don't want to save the white seeds. But any black seeds you get, you can reuse, give your friends, you sell them so get some of your money back this has been a lot of fun this is one of my favorite growing items i do want to try to grow some birdhouse gourds at some time but this is about four times the space we did the first year and we're getting some really nice big ones this year where in the past we only had a couple two or three that were really big anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you didn't Give me a thumbs down if you did like it. Give me a thumbs up. And thank you for watching.